Alright. Guys, we should make ourselves scarce. There's someone looking for me to give me a bunch of gold. <laughs> 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 I kind of like stick my hands in my pockets and tilt my head to the side and be like, isn't that a good reason to hang around? <laughs> yeah, but if he does, I'm going to feel really guilty. So can we skedaddle? Why? Did you steal something from skedaddle? Skedaddle, <laughs> No, it's... Uh... I can't, I can't tell uh, if our uncle Zen he'll feel bad. So. <laughs> uh, yes, I did, so we should go. I, he kind of just frowns and then reaches <laughs> out and grabs you by your earlobe and he says, you're going to return it is what's going to happen. No, I stole it and my story's breaking down. <laughs> 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 Look, Thuring, just trust me, okay? It It's... Can we skedaddle? It's not a bad I thing. I am going to insight check him. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like trying to lie. I'm just like, look, we've been through a lot. Can you just trust me that this isn't as bad as it looks? And... Uh, do persuasion. Uh, you have to beat his insight it... though. I am a good at persuasion. Yeah, oh, uh... we've got the same bonus. <laughs> uh... <laughs> As far as you can tell, Thorin, Tobias doesn't have any nefarious sort of motivations behind what he's saying. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll release him and I'll say, <laughs> alright. But I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> right. As you sort of make it onto the land, uh, you see off in the distance uh, a man sort of dressed in very white robes, sort of standing by the side of a caravan. And as he sees a lot of you... Oh, you guys have your armor on, don't you? Yeah, I got dressed. Yep. Sorry about to start traveling yeah. again. Yeah. I got uh, my clothes on. I have no armor. <laughs> he sort of raises a hand towards you lot. And then says, Ah, I'm the caravan that's supposed to take you to the church and border crossing. Come on, hop on. Mm -hmm. Uh, just, just a moment. And I kind of look at everybody else and I say, Uh, this blessing by our mutual friend has been very very beneficial many many times in the past is it a good idea to perhaps maybe travel through Baron Bark or I mean we can still catch the ride to Border Crossing and just not take the blessing I think it might be comes a... to us we just skedaddle yeah they're not going to kill us for not taking it I don't ho I hope unless the uh, the holy sea guy has said something to his best guardian friends I think it's worth the risk. I'd rather not go back to Barenbuck. I mean, it's empty now, isn't it? Yeah, but bad vibes and, you know, snowy wilderness a long time before we get to civilization. All right, I'll trust you. Yep. Uh, head over to Caravan Guy. All right. I'm going to do, I'm going to do an inside check on... Um, Caravan guy, just in case. Yeah, go for it. What are you trying to discern? Uh, just to make sure that he's definitely legitimate. Because with all the things I've seen in my career, I just <laughs> want to make sure that um, everything is as it seems. Fair enough. I'm going to insight check Carlius to see what he's thinking about. I don't fucking know anything. <laughs> but my nat one is still higher than Carlius's. <laughs> Uh, neither of you are able to discern anything. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm going to nonchalantly deploy my owl so that it flies around in the air above us. Deploy. <laughs> deploy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you do so. It's just like mm -hmm. a bang and a flash, and it appears. <laughs> Caw -caw! <laughs> it, literally, it literally comes out of a, a like a fucking portal to another dimension. It's probably probably quite subtle, to be honest. Yeah. I just like the mental image of, like, it not Poof. being. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, an owl. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it a hawk or something? Oh, uh, yeah, it was a hawk. But oh, then sorry. I was like, hawk. Nah, you're an owl now. Oh, okay, so I was yeah, like, This is the first time we've seen it, so we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we probably haven't seen it because you're doing it subtly. Hmm. Uh... But yeah, Tobias just like, um, Thorin and uh, Kalias are looking suspiciously at various people, and <laughs> Tobias just walks up to the caravan guy and greets him nonchalantly. 
he sort of holds out a hand to shake you. <laughs> shake me. <laughs> <laughs> shake ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I take his hand. Well, considering I can't see anything wrong, I'll go up and shake hands as well. He um, introduces himself each time to each of you as Brother <laughs> Benjamin. Brother Benjamin. Uh, I'm well. going to try the secret handshake. <laughs> does it? Does he notice? As you shake your ha- as you shake his hand and you run a finger across your eye, he doesn't seem to make anything mm-hmm. of it. I do the um, head nod and just okay. I'm good with this, and I continue on. Uh, so the caravan is sort of like a open, open roofed cart, and it's drawn by one draft horse, or well, two draft horses. And he just gestures for the lot of you to climb on back, and he sort of hops onto the front. Is this guy a Vesta guardian? Are you asking me, or are you asking? I'm asking you. Oh um, no, just from his robes and his holy sea priest. Okay. But yeah, uh, without further ado, everyone gets to travel much faster than if they were to go on foot, so you could travel a whopping 200 kilometers. Yeah. Wow. I set my owl to hunting for small rodents or whatever. Are you sure you wish to do this? Well, I don't have to communicate it with a line of sight or anything. Still magic. As you're starting to travel along and you set your owl to go hunt for small rodents, are you able to see it, just see, like, sense through it without concentrating or whatever? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you get to roll a 1d20. Okay. And as everyone's sort of traveling along the main roads, you see a whole bunch of Vestigard soldiers still... Um, patrolling the areas, presumably to find any hidden away L6 members or whatnot. Uh, various party sizes and all that, uh, varying degrees of uh, skill and proficiency with warfare. Uh, as your owl try, spots a rodent and it eventually, like, bump, you know, dives right for it, it catches it in the snow and you see out of its eyes various Vestigard soldiers raise their crossbows at the owl. And they all take their shot. Okay, I'm gonna get the owl to fuck right off. Yeah, assuming it doesn't get hit. Yeah. So there are two attacks. Ooh! Yeah, they both hit it. Rip. What savage is shooting a random owl? Yeah, they just fucking murdered the shit out of it. Does it die, or is it still okay? No, it's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. What happens when it dies? It just disappears, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. well then, instantly, you lose connection with it. God damn it. But uh, as you eventually travel the full distance that you can travel on these horses, uh, the sun begins to go down, and uh, Brother Benjamin sort of like looks at a lot of you. Well... We ought to set up camp for the night. Sure. Yep. I've got a big cool tent. So, so he. I'll pass. I'm going to pass this information on to the rest of the party discreetly, though. The Vesta Guardians can detect magic and even the smallest forms. They uh they shot down an owl that I'd sent to hunting for rodents. You sound so youthful right now. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Amazing what a good night's sleep can do for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so as everyone sort of sets up their tents, uh, you see Brother Benjamin sort of set up his very small sleeping bag, very, just like, you know, very modest, uh, just in the snow somewhere. And he does a few hand motions as he mumbles something, something under his breath. Then he walks over first to Tobias. Uh, May you allow me the honor of blessing your sleep tonight. Uh, probably, but uh, just to be clear, what does that entail? 
I simply speak a small charm. Um, uh, sure. Uh, knock yourself out. As he punches himself in the chin, nah, uh, <laughs> he steps out of your bed, and then he puts both hands together and he whispers under his breath, uh, roll perception. One! Fumble! May Neo curse his spirit, and may he forever rot in hell for the magics that he casts. It is what you pick up from him. Uh, I just look kind of like weirded out at him and uh, yeah just say nothing and just give him a really <laughs> odd look he finishes his prayers and he walks over to Thorin and asks very much the same question will you allow me the honour of blessing your sleep I kind of uh, like point to a couple of like depictions of Korboth on my armour and I say I um I pray to a different god, I'm sorry. Anil offers his shield to all. All the gods work in unison for the benefit of mankind. I, I'm, I'm very stuck in my ways. I understand. He goes away towards Kalius and asks very much the same thing. Uh, you can roll inside though. And hopefully I don't roll the two this time. <laughs> oh, slightly <laughs> he better. He says, my deepest condolences for your condition, yet will you allow me the honour of blessing your sleep? I, out of pure curiosity more than anything else I say sure please I, I'd be honoured in in return alright uh, roll perception ready while this is all going on I, I start setting up my 30 pound fey oh, enchanted tent <laughs> <laughs> that natural three uh, Carly is unable to pick out most of his prayers you do know that there are mentions of a meal as he chants but that's all you pick yeah, up that's fair and he sort of walks over to Arcturus and asks you very much the same question. Oh, sure, my boy. And you get to roll perception too. You hear him mutter under his breath a prayer, and he sort of goes like, May Anil shield this one's mind, body, soul, and spirit, so that he may never walk away from the light that he may never delve deep into the Moor's corruption. And then he finishes his prayer off as he walks off. Thank you, my boy. Have a good sleep. And he sort of like crawls into his little, uh, I was gonna say knapsack, but he crawls into his little sleeping bag and just cocks out. I kind of, uh, as I finish setting up my big extravagant tent, I kind of point, I kind of point at it and I look at Arcturus and I kind of just have this big stupid grin and I like waggle my eyebrows a little bit. Cool. Look at, this, look at this cool fucking thing! And I like point to like the little, the little fey creatures that dance around it and stuff. Uh, it starts to sort of melt the snow um, away around its bottom edges. I crawl yeah. up. Arcturus is gonna walk a ways off. Uh, in are we like near a tree line or something off yeah. the road? Yeah. Yeah. Arcturus is gonna walk into the forest and. Um, He's gonna summon yet another fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so tempted to go with the Phantom Steed, but like, holy shit! <laughs> Everyone hates magic here. <laughs> do you have a brazier that you can use? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh well. No, I'll I'll stick with um I'll stick with Find Familiar. Another ten gold down the drain. Yeah, Owl once again. I'll set it to... I'll set it back into the fucking pocket dimension that it came from. Alright. Best to uh, get shot again. <laughs> Is there yep. anything else you wish to do for it? Nah. Uh, dang it, I don't have a alarm. Never mind, yeah, I'll head back and rest up. Uh, Tobias will take first watch and uh, 
All right. I kind of poke my head out and I'd be like, you chuckle fucks know this is like a three person turn, right? Uh, yes, well, we can all fit in if one of us stays on watch. So I'll take first watch and uh, uh, who wants to go next? I'll go next. All right, I'll pop out early in the okay. Dang it. I wanted the last watch. Oh, well. <laughs> you can wake up if you want. I can't stop you. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> All right, uh, so who was taking first watch? Me. All right, uh, for you, nothing happens throughout the night. To uh, I will cast Mage Armor because it's getting close to the end of the day <laughs> and I haven't cast any spells, so I'll pop that off because uh, why the heck not? Yeah, that's fair. You sort of just trudge around the snow and nothing of interest seems to happen as you go back to the main camp to swap watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, who I, does... uh... yeah. Is Mage Armor visible? Uh, no idea. That's West's prerogative. I'll think about it. Oh, no. uh, yeah, I tap Kalius, uh, like shake him awake, yep. uh, say it's his turn. And I begrudgingly get out of bed and um, walk outside. I um, roll stealth so I can try and hide. Yeah, sure. Oh, get <laughs> absolutely fucked. He glows. As you're walking through the snow, you just uncontrollably shiver, constantly chattering your teeth and just rubbing your arms and whatnot just from the bites of the cold. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, about an hour into your watch, a man on a horse sort of rides up uh, on the main road and you sort of make eye contact for a second. And he just runs a finger along his left eye. I'm going to roll perception to see who this, if I recognize him. Yeah, sure, go for it. Oh, yay, something over 10. Great. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know that he just did essentially a greeting in Thief's Cut. Yeah. And uh, you immediately realize it's Wolf as he sort of just travels along on his uh, horse. Uh. Uh, further ahead of you guys and he sort of like disappears off into the night but other than that nothing else happens of import as you go back to the main camp and swap out (laughs) and you swap out a watch with the next person so yes um, all yours alright Hey, you didn't get shanked this time. I know! <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, very uncommon for me not to get shanked or de mm. I get up for the day and just kind of roll my shoulders and do my morning exercise and stuff. I like to imagine, because Forge Cleric, as snowdrops like hit the hit my back, as I, like, I haven't put my armor on yet, they just immediately steam off. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, if you're wearing a shirt, it becomes a little bit wet and see-through, and it shows all your rippling abs and obliques. <laughs> <laughs> and as all you right, sort of stand um... up and you sort of like, uh, sort of whip your head a little bit, so your hair goes a little bit to the side. You know, all the water runs off, and then they start oh, steaming, yeah. and it dries off your hair. You look off into the distance. Roll perception. Perception. There's a full camera crew recording a shampoo commit. <laughs> <laughs> that too feels fucking bad. Uh, have have the... we upset some kind of deity or something? Because it feels like we've been rolling atrociously late. <laughs> we've, we've annoyed RN Jesus. <laughs> uh, as you sort of like uh, stand back up and you flex your muscles a tiny little bit and like sort of like wags your arms around to loosen it up from all the push ups you did. You notice this woman dressed in like a black robe riding a horse on the main road oh, going shit. by. Oh Christ. Uh. <laughs> oh no. I immediately tense and I get ready to dive back for my weapon. She turns to face you a little bit and you immediately see the trademark um, you know, carvings that run along her cheek as though she's in a permanent smile. But uh, as you uh. sort of see her eyes, you see a little bit of blonde hair covering a little, covering one of the eyes. Uh, strikes, uh, roll a history, actually. Oh, no. Fuck. Alright. 
So you see, right. you don't pick anything else out of this, but you, you obviously know who it is. And she gives you a very playful wink uh, with a very, um, I guess, seductive look to it. And you can see like the blue pupils of her eyes shining like little sapphires. And they sort of glint in the light as like fingers of sunlight start to creep over as it becomes morning. And she sort of rides off into the distance towards Vestigard. Is that what she always looked like? I thought she had dark hair. Did she have dark hair last time? Yeah, yeah. I kind of rubbed my chin. Huh. I kind of just make a mental note to bring that up later on. Inspiration for remembering, yay! That's 100 XP, boys! But yeah, after that... Did Cecilia have yellow... Was Cecilia blonde or redhead? Cecilia? Yeah. Red. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just bring it up later. Yeah, she looks something like that. Like a little kid. Cecilia was a kid? She was the one who fucking obliterated Kalias. <laughs> yeah, not, not like a kid kid, but like, you know, very young-faced and all that. Right. But, uh, after that, nothing else of note happens to you. As, uh, it becomes the next person's watch, so Arcturus, you would have woken up by now. Well, that was, um... <sighs> I've been asleep for six hours at that point, so unless I just... I don't, don't do very much, I can watch for the rest of the time. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna... Ch I'm gonna take the opportunity to cast Ch Mage Armor as a ritual. On self. Don't think you can do it as a ritual. Yeah, there's no ritual. Oh, fuck it. Well, I'll line it up as a ready spell then. On my long rest, and I'll actually drop it as a, as a full spell. Because I didn't know right. any spell casting, that made zero sense to me. But, alright. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> <laughs> as you wake up for the morning, and everyone else wakes up, uh, you all have to consume another ration. Uh, I forgot to mention also, uh, after... After she sort of rides off into the distance and a few more, like an hour passes maybe, you see Brother Nellis sort of wake up as well. And he immediately walks over to the cart and begins blessing the horses as well, and doing his morning routine of blessing everything in sight. I right. head over to Brother Nellis and ask him if he thinks anything is off about me today. And I act like a, a wizened old man while I do this. Anything what? off about you? Mm, yes, anything, anything strange. Why, no, not that I can see. Excellent, my son. <laughs> <laughs> no, walk off. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, head over to Tobias. I'm like, oh, I have discovered that Mage Armor is not easily detected by these Vestigardian folk. Ah, excellent. Uh, <laughs> Tobias promptly casts Mage arm Armor on himself. <laughs> I can't buff either of your armor because you don't wear armor anymore. <laughs> nope. Just shovel another, shovel another AC. I'll another what? Shovel another AC on uh, your pile if you can't do it for us or Kalius. Yeah, I might do Kalius. I'm sitting at twenty-one all the time now. So. Yeah, Kalius would really appreciate me plus one. I like to hang on to it until we see what we're fighting there. Well, that's exactly right, yeah. Alright. Like if, we, if, if we need you to do more damage or something. Ah, uh, so everyone could take a ration off, that'd be great. Do you need an extra one, Tobias? Uh, I've got two, so I'll eat one for now. I'll uh, ask for a handout uh, next time if we haven't stocked up by then. Alright. Alright. Uh, brother, after a few hours of sort of consuming your daily rations, uh, you, everyone notices quite obviously that Brother Nellis doesn't consume a ration. Instead, he sort of readies the horses, hops on, and awaits everyone to embark on a journey. Brother Nellis, are you doing any fasting? Why, yes, I am. Oh, is it a religious or cultural occasion? Ah, uh, it is a simple personal preference. 
I'm to go with little food until the end of Death Moon. And once the festival of stars is upon us, we shall feast. Most interesting. I always love learning about other cultures. Um, how many uh, athletics points did I get for that 19 athletics that I rolled earlier? Exactly, nine. Nine, cool. Yeah, it's gonna go super quick. You do some push-ups for a few days, fuck yeah. You get ripped. <laughs> like, you're already ripped, so... I had 23, now I have 30. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, is there anything anyone wish to do other than hopping onto the back of the caravan? No. Finish putting oh. my armor on, I guess. Oh, really? Alright, so, uh, as you guys sort of, like, start to get towards border crossing, you can immediately see, like, um... A lot of the main road is pretty clear, it's as though people have been cleaning it, but like off to the sides where there's grass and there's like trees and wood and whatnot, you see several scorch marks, uh, you know, broken bolts, uh, laying like, you know, various corpses and rusted armor, sort of half covered by snow and whatnot. And uh, as you sort of reach to within sight of water crossing, you see this large palisade wood like a wooden log made wall and on top of them are various large ballistas pointing towards you and you can see the tips of the helmets of like the best of guard soldiers and whatnot and brother Nellis just uh, stops the horses quite far away from the main entrance and before long the gates open and a lone rider rides up to the lot of you and uh, he r gets right up next to brother Nellis and then they have a little chat uh, if you wish to listen to what he says, please roll perception. Hmm. May as well be a sticky beak. Oh man, geez, yeah. Oh, everyone's able to pick this up because it's not like they're trying to hide it. Uh, the soldier, uh, he seems quite young and inexperienced, simply asks, Oh, uh, what are you heading this way for? Ah, uh, my son, I'm taking these pilgrims across border crossing and into our church. Hmm. Well, I better check the caravan, check out if there's anything suspicious and whatnot. Having all the wars and all that. And then, uh, you see Brother Benjamin sort of lean in and said, Oh, that won't be necessary. They're under the guidance of Father Nellis. They are to be rid of their worldly possessions. You can fear nothing from these folk. And then the young man sort of scratches his head through his helmet and goes, Oh, I mean, I suppose. All right, come on. And he starts to lead the caravan through border crossing and the huge uh, wooden gates get swung open again. And you go through directly in front of the main walls of border crossing you see a long line of people waiting to go through as well as several makeshift tents and whatnot of like refugees from the war trying to make it past the border but uh, bef uh brother benjamin sort of immediately t takes you guys through the main center of border crossing and then just makes a turn towards the nearest church and you can sort of see like the steeple of the church and then uh, you arrive outside the church. I want to, I want to hunch over at some point during this and like try and get the attention of my party. And be like, did they say be rid of all our worldly possessions? I did hear that. Yes, because that's that... not that's not going to fly. Are you trying to be incognito about this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Can you roll? What would be incognito for this? Stealth. I'm just, I'm just like, hun I'm just like hunching for and I'm whispering. Yeah, do stealth. Do I have to do this to disadvantage because I'm not like moving? I'm not oh, like nah, actively. Just, just normal stuff. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> my, my armor isn't gonna clank clank when I'm like just talking. I guess it is. Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> did he say be rid of our worldly? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think he did. Uh, you see, brother Nellis, uh, brother Nellis, brother Benjamin, sort of like perk up a little bit. And he turns around and he sort of leans over the back of it and just looks at the lot of you and says, Don't worry, we don't actually do that. But it's easy to... He 
does a little shifty eye movement to rid the Vestigards of their material possessions. I like these guys. They believe anything we say. Yeah, cool. Can I roll an insight to make sure he's not just trying to bluff me out? Yeah, sure, go for it. Fuck! <laughs> oh, great. Random oh, number generator in the sky. What have we done to upset you? <laughs> How may we make penance? You take everything that he says to heart. Okay. Yeah, he seems like an upstanding guy. Definitely in it for your interests. You know what? I'm going to roll inside. Yeah, just because. <laughs> yeah, no, I believe him. You know what? No, guys, don't worry about it. And I put my hands out. I can personally vouch for this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and if you don't yeah, know he's completely legitimate. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, that hurts my sides. <laughs> hey. Hey, finally. All right. What um, are you talking about, Kalias? The he's a hundred percent. The guy. two insight nat ones cancelled out you guys perfect rolls and everyone sort of discombobulated as to which way benjamin's sort of like working towards as you sort of have like a bit of inter-party conflict on what you agree with <laughs> how each of you think about him so uh Carlos and i think he might be shady but those two are adamant that uh he's on the level he's a pious yep. man he is obviously he's he works for a church. There's no way he'd ever do something shifty. He's also old, and everyone knows old people can be trusted. <laughs> Actually, at that point, I narrow my eyes at Arcturus. <laughs> 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 and, and reconsider my, my, uh, my ideas. Well, uh, brothers, we are here. No need to tarry. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I have to second it. thoughts, but he's gonna follow the rest of the party. Uh, I, I might like whisper to hang back and whisper to Kalias just to uh, keep an eye out for uh, anything suspicious and give us a warning if you notice anything. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry, Tobias, I forgot that. Hmm? Pow. What's happening? Oh. oh. I can see myself. Yay. Oh, <laughs> I, put uh, I can't see on. anything else, though. All yeah, right. everything's... Everything's black. Really? Yeah. Say what? Did I not do the... Oh. One button every time. There you go. Hey. <laughs> I can see! My sight is recovered! I am healed. I've got the narrow cone of vision there. Oh, no. Tragic. Mine's normal. Yeah, hey. mine's a little bit narrow as well. Oh. Alright, right, how cool. about now? Yeah, now I'm good. Test. Yep, there we go. All G. Alright, I climb out and start heading down. Alright, give me a quick second to change all the light, because I'm like, oh no! Where's old mate? I think this is him just in front of us. Oh, yep. oh, let me add a little name tag to him so you know how to use the special one. Old mate. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so as you sort of come up to this church, you see the outside of it has been painted very white and uh, sort of the windows are outlined by golden embroidery as he starts to lead you all into the main church entrance. And a ver ver various like knights from the Holy See are standing guard on the main entrances and whatnot. And uh, Benjamin sort of raises a hand and just says, Anil shield you. And the knight sort of nods his head, and you, my brother. And then the main doors open and uh, everyone's able to sort of like sift through. And as you sort of come into the main church area, you immediately hear the low hymns of a, well, I guess a church, a church cathedral, sort of hymning as everyone sort of says their prayers. And then he gestures for the last row of pews for you lot to sort of sit down. Uh, okay, uh, sit down. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> And he just says to a lot of you, 
Uh, the main priest will be with you shortly as soon as he finishes his sermon. Really quickly, where is this from? I know where this is from, but I don't know. Is this... I feel like I can place it as well, but I'm not sure. Is it just me or do the shadows make it look like this is 3D? Like 3D pillars holding the roof up. Alright. <laughs> yeah, they're like shadows in the map itself, as well as from dynamic lighting. That's cool. Yeah, so that's why it looks a little wonky. But yeah, uh, so everyone sort of like looks up forward and there are various priests all along. And there's like some doors to the left side that are, are guarded by Knights of the Holy See. And the main priest just sort of goes on and he's just like, Oh, may Anil's light guide you all to salvation. May his shield protect you in the afterlife and all that jazz. Yeah. Um, I want to click my fingers a couple of times to try and get Arcturus' attention. Yes. And I'm going to like perk my eyebrows and do like the pointing thing that he does when he casts that whispering spell. I point my finger at him whispering him, What? I say, should we tear up, or, or at least hide that thing that uh, that head priest gave us? So instead of trying to do some crazy blessing shit, he just christens us and sends us on our way? What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just having second thoughts. Wait, you want me to disguise myself as you? What do you want me to do? Oh my god, Arcturus. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> the, the Thorin suddenly just looks visibly pained and just like rubs his temples. <laughs> Perhaps you should talk to Tobias. Yeah, I'll do that actually. I'll kind of just like whisper as quietly as I can to Tobias. Oh, as the up. sermon ends. Benjamin starts to strut down the main aisle as though he owns the place. He walks right up to the main head priest and he sort of says something. Uh, everyone eventually hears the booming voice of the priest. Ah, oh, brothers, we have new additions today. Let me oh, take shit. a look at you. And then Brother Benjamin steps to the side and he gestures to a lot of you to come forward. Uh... Arcturus, no believing that Brother Benjamin is his best friend, leaps to the front. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm not so about them taking our stuff. I'm just, I just don't like the idea of being converted. I quite like Corbus. As everyone starts making their way down the aisles, uh, all the monks and priests to the sides of the pews, they all sort of look up at you with, like, heavenly smiles. And, I... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, can I do an insight check on those guys? Because I'm a bit nervous about this place. Yeah, sure. Roll an insight check and tell me what you tried to determine. Like, are they, like, blissed out, drugged, dreamy? Or are they just <laughs> happy? <laughs> Roll insight. Ooh. The gods frown upon you. <laughs> yeah, man, what's going on? Uh, you are unable to determine why they are so happy. Okay. Still creepy, but just confused. As Eucharist <laughs> one, <laughs> as gonna... Arcturus Flick sort of steps up to the main podium, he raises both hands sort of to his sides, sort of like in a praise the sun motion. Ah, hey. Anil brings me yet another sheep to add to the flock. And how may this shepherd guide you, my son? Well, my boy, <laughs> we're gonna do this. <laughs> well, my boy, all I seek is wisdom and guidance in life. Then under and the treasure. holy, then under the holy light of Anil, you shall find these things as he guides you on the shield to wisdom. And then he sort of step, uh, he gestures to the side. Now I'll take your place to my side, and let me speak to those that follow in your footsteps. Uh, he gestures for the next person to step up. And what of you, my son? How may I help you with Anil's light and guidance? Thorin just looks really sheepish, like he isn't quite sure what's going on. It just, like, is obviously 
unable to think of anything to say. Ah. Stricken and silenced by the blinding light of Anil's guidance, I understand. In time, you will come to understand as well. Please step to the side and let me speak to those that follow in your footsteps. And the next person is gestured to come up. Uh, Carlos, do you look like you're going to go for it? Or yeah, are you waiting I'll... for me to go? Oh no, I'll go. Ah. Uh, my boy, you are touched by the curse of the moor. I, oh, it is true. I pity your existence. And everyone <laughs> in the whole church reverberates this. You just hear pity, 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 pity repeated. The more I think about it, the more, in. <laughs> <laughs> the more I think about it, uh, the more I actually pity my own existence. But... <laughs> a, little, a little tear sort of forms in the corner of your eyes. <laughs> Shun! Shun the <laughs> But it is alright, my son. With the light of Anil, you shall find the way to salvation. Now please, step to the side and allow me to speak to the last who follows in your footsteps. And he gestures to Tobias. He immediately notices all the wounds that are um, or well not like all the wounds, but like your state of uncontrollable magical power. He can very easily sense this. And he squints his eyes, he lowers his hands, and he leans in a little bit, and he slams his palm on the podium. <laughs> this- <laughs> Device like starts and jumps back a bit. <laughs> this one, this one is touched by the unholy influence of the Moor. I'm sure all of you can see this. The influence of the Moor, and it's repeated throughout. The Moor, the Moor, the Moor. And Benjamin's well, Thorin's just like... <laughs> nervously looking about. <laughs> Thorin's just quietly super happy that Aiden's not here. <laughs> but it is all right, my son. Rejoice, for you are now in the light of a new, and you will be healed. Have you any words you wish to speak? Uh, Tobias like opens his mouth, closes it, opens it, closes it and just like shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put on the spot here. <laughs> Shepherds of the light, please take them to the reckoning room. And you hear a that door open good. off to the side as various knights sort of come over. And then they sort of like gesture for you to follow them. The fact that they're knights and not priests bothers me. I'd yeah. shoot a look at Kalius, like trying to indicate to, that this is concerning and maybe to be ready. Uh, there we go, I can move. All right. And the door sort of opens up as he leads you into the back courtyard. And then they step off to the side. You can see a bit of the church has been like run down just from sort of like the wall. You can see like damage all along the walls and whatnot, but they still seem to make do. And as you sort of head there, you see various rooms and chambers. And in front of those rooms are standing like monks who are eyes closed in meditation and prayer. And they're also mumbling something under their breath. And then he, the knight behind you sort of like gestures for you to stand up into the middle of the podium where they're gathered. I do not go first. Lock was. Arturus Flick is already up there. <laughs> Alright, as you're standing there, the man that's wearing like golden robes, uh, directly in front of you, not the one to the other side, he says to you, I am Father Reginald, and it is within my honour to greet you. Hello, Father Reginald. I am Arcturus Flick, and it is my honor to greet you too. Arcturus Flick, may your name be guided into the afterlife when you pass so that there is a place for you. 
in the Neil's shield. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your blessing. May Aeneal's light heal you, my son. Let us be rid of the influence which plagues you. Let us unfetter the soul which is a sacred gift given upon us. May Aeneal continue to shield us from evil and those who would seek to do us harm. Do you accept With Aeneal's that... mercy? With that, can I roll insight to detect if he wants to take away something more than that? <laughs> I also roll an insight. Yeah, sure. Uh, throwing at disadvantage, a curious at advantage. Just because you're so close. Okie doke. I might do that as well, because oh, this whole thing has me on edge. Yeah, this is feeling sus to me. I believe the guy at the front, but I don't know these people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let me just have a quick... Ch oh, yeah. Everyone's able to figure out that... um. He intends to dip Arcturius Flick's head in the water that's in the fountain in front of him. Okay, but like... Oh, like can nice, I roll not nice dip, not like fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I roll Arcana to see if there's any magical aura coming from this fountain? Uh, yes, you can. Roll Arcana. Yeah, oh, not meant to be an advantage, sorry. No, it's alright. Uh, with an 18, you detect nothing. Hmm. Not from this fountain, no. Hmm. Can't be that bad then. Alright, onward. Then may Aeneal Shield protect you forever and always, my son. And then he sort of gestures for your head to go into the fountain. Dunk my head in the fountain. <laughs> he pulls his whole body in. <laughs> he puts a hand on the back of your head and then raises the other into the sky. And then he repeats the chant that he did earlier. May Aeneal's light heal you, my son. And... Immediately, everybody notices the room light up a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. And Arcturus, like, you heal for that amount. And whatever extra goes directly into your temporary points. Heck yeah. And as you sort of, like... Uh, he lets go of the back of your head, and as you stand up and water runs down your robe, and you turn over to look at your companions, everybody sees Arcurius Flick's face. All the wrinkles have sort of, like, tightened a little bit, so he doesn't look as old. It's like he's rejuvenated. I have seen a Neo, and he has <laughs> guided me into his light. That was an Join me, change. my comrades. This is... Fantastic! It's a fucking brainwash. <laughs> <laughs> Rejoice! I, uh... He yells as all the others start yelling, Rejoice! And the knights yeah. sort of stomp their weapons into the floor a little bit. Yeah, Flick's gonna join them. Rejoice! <laughs> <laughs> it's the most literal brainwashing I've ever seen. They literally just washed his brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Octarius Flick, you all, uh, everyone also gets 150 XP. Hey. Everyone. Hey. Yeah. Alright. And he gestures for you to step off to the side and he, with the other hand, looks at the other three and makes a come over here motion. Come on, my sons. The light does not bite. Fucking all these friends, goddamn. <laughs> um, Tavius, like, glances at uh, Thorin and Carlius. Like, are they to, like, uh, get a gauge on how willing they are to do this. Do they look hesitant, or...? Very. Yeah, I'm definitely hesitant. <laughs> uh... Tobias mm -hmm. slowly... Um, with a bit of trepidation, starts to... walk. You can see Thorin takes half a step forward to, like, or he like, has to resist to stop you. Like... Yeah. Ah, my son, I can see what ails you. The wounds are as clear as day. Can you go? Oh yeah, you can very easily see this. Do you uh, accept Anil's mercy? Um, that depends. How far does this go? 
Simply this... wash yourselves away from the influence of the Maw, and you shall be reborn anew. Can I do a check to figure out how much of an effect this is going to have? Is this going to cut my connection to heaven? <laughs> You can roll Arcana. Or Religion. Both the same. I might spend an Inspiration point on that. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> roll at an advantage. <laughs> it's fun when things are scary. <laughs> oh my fucking <laughs> god! Damn! Can I give him my Inspiration? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. I'm going to do so. Alright. <laughs> Roll it at advantage. Oh, hey. Christ! <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> it only took us five fucking rolls to get to 15. <laughs> You're trying to see if this will wash you away from the seventh influence? Yeah. Uh, you know wholeheartedly that it will not. Okay. Uh, with trepidation, I step forward to get dunked. As you sort of place your face into the water, and then he holds it underwater as he begins chanting uh, the same sort of spiel as earlier, you know, may Anil's light heal you and all that, uh, you immediately start to feel better, a lot better than usual. Uh, not only do you heal from those for that amount, and it goes into your temporary hit points, uh, oh. you can feel like the sort of lumps and scars that are on where your major arteries are, they start to sort of fade away. And then he eventually lets go of your head, and as you stand up and uh, the water drips down your face, you too look very rejuvenated. And if you were to take a peek at where your cuts were, uh, they no longer have that purple reddish glow. They just rejoice! look like normal, uh, normal wounds. And yes, he does yell out, Rejoice! Another one is healed by Anil's light. Thanks, I guess, and I like back up from this very enthusiastic person and go to oh, yeah. stand next to Arcturus. And, uh, Flick, you get inspiration for beating me to the rejoice. <laughs> 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 right, that's 100 XP for everybody, boys. Hey. Oh yeah, actually, uh, that's gonna be 300 XP. Oh, okay. Just All for right. Tobias's, and then he gestures to the other two. I, like, try to convey oh, with my eyes that it's all right. Oh, I'll go I'll... first. Oh, I was, actually, I was going to say I want to approach, but you can if you want. Like, Thorin slowly walks up. You can butt in front. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll approach. All right, I'll just lean up against this pillow. Ah, oh, my son. Ah, oh, such pity for your existence. Ah, oh, the <laughs> <that's not deserved. laughs> Pity, pity is the word pity. of the day, is it not? And here, everyone re reverberates the same word, pity, pity. Yeah, <laughs> Thorin joins it again with this huge shit in again. <laughs> <laughs> Let Anil's light wash away the pity from your soul and existence. <laughs> you will be given purpose anew as you are reborn in his light and vision. And he gestures for you to dunk your head. I think that's human. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, do you do so? I do, yes. You dunk your head in and he holds it down for a few seconds, a little bit longer than what he did for Arturius and Tobias as he raises a hand and he continues with his spiel of pity and whatnot. <laughs> then as he lets you raise your head, he says, a new shield will protect you forever and always. Everyone roll perception. Except Kalius. Oh, but Kalius, you do heal for that amount, and it goes into your temporary hit points. Oh, sweet. As Kalius looks around the room, Thorin's the only one who notices this. For a brief second, the red skin tone of Kalius's face is washed away, and then slowly <laughs> it creeps back. Whoa. The fuck? And All then right. he lets out yet another Rejoice! For the pity Rejoice. is washed away from your existence. No, it's not. You now have Rejoice. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now may the last meek and shy sheep step forward. I walk forward with one hand pointed towards him really aggressively, like, Did you just fucking call me? <laughs> <laughs> the light welcomes all. Alright, cool. Alright. Just, just, just wait for Kalias to stop stroking out and remember how to uh, use his legs. Yeah, fine. Done. <laughs> Go. Alright, I... I I walk up to, but as I do, I say, I, ca I carry the blessings of not just Korboth, but Kira as well. And I will trust what you said, or what your comrade said in the previous room about all the gods working together in unison. If those are the two that you follow, then you will know that once they walked hand in hand with Anil. They were comrades, and friends, and to an extent, family. And Thorin kind of nods his head and says under his breath, he says, I have first had experience. You get to roll Arcana at advantage. Two! Ah. <laughs> that was a nat one and a nat two. Oh yeah! <laughs> Immediately, images flash deep in your mind's eye, and for a second, you doze off and you see the red face of the horned devil. Yeah. <laughs> you don't believe them, do you? He says in your mind. I think, I don't say anything out loud, I just think, and I say, no, not really. Then, when he dunks your head in, <laughs> hold him in place. What? Hold him in place with your hands. You want me to drown this dude in the pool? <laughs> if that is what you wish. I just fucking dunk my head like everybody else did. That's too far for me, man, I, I think, as I bow my head down. All right. He places a hand over the top of your head, and he starts reciting his same chant. And uh, yet again, the pictures of the seventh flashes more vividly this time. And he just chants, do it. Hold him. <laughs> Don't let him wash away the powers I have given you. Will this wash away the powers that you've given me? Oh, you're asking him? Yeah. <laughs> You'll find out soon. Inside! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely gonna fuck with your waves that connect you to the 7th. Oh, I'm super not okay with this. I kind of just pretend that I have terrible lung capacity and I pop my head up early. All right. And just like, ah! Ah! <laughs> and I like cough and I like wipe my face. He immediately steps back, aghast. As to the others, they all step back from you. I kind of look back and I'm like, we can try again. I'll just take a deeper breath this time. He has been rejected. The influence is uh, too deep in him. He can't withstand I the water. I'd kind of just be like, no, I just bro breathed out when you dunked me because I'm stupid. The devil lives in this one. Oh, God. And Thorin all, just looks confused. You hear the sheathing of, unsheathing of blades as all the Knights of Valor turn their attention onto you. Whoa, hey, that's a bit of an overreaction. <laughs> Thorin says out loud, like both of his hands lifting up like, whoa, what? Hands by your side. One of the knights shouts. Okay, Don't make I'm... any sudden movements. Hey, oh. hey, hey, we can. It's alright, we can. Oh, I'm talk so about disappointed this. in you, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of just. I, like, daggers at Arcturus. Like, come on. Work with I, me like, a bit here. I look between everybody and I just say, just. Let me just take a deep breath. We'll just try again. Uh, Roll persuasion. I have a fucking one in persuasion. 
Rip. <laughs> I roll for the other dudes. Hold on. Aww. I should have said I breathed it in through my nose by accident, damn it. It's <laughs> way more- it's way better. Damn it, motherfuck! <laughs> oh, they get to roll wisdom save, I had to roll a charisma save. <laughs> <laughs> I can roll a charisma for them if you wish. Ah, I'm not fuzzy. Just I think jokes. charisma would make sense. Ah, well, there oh. you go. <laughs> <laughs> the, That's knight, the knight sort of steps closer into your way and then pushes you, uh, pushes Arcturus out of the way as both of them crowd in onto Thorin and he pushes Tobias a little bit back. Step back from the heathen, he says. Wait, he's, uh, he's not a heathen. He's, he's a good person. He just has terrible lung capacity. <laughs> he points, one of the knights points his blade towards you. What devil resides within you? Who have you been colluding I kinda just, with? I kind of just look side to side and go, Kira? <laughs> <laughs> oh, persuasion. Thank fuck! <laughs> he thinks about this for a second as he slowly lowers his blade and as he sort of like turns around. Does. Yeah? Oh, as he lowers his blade, I kind of look around and I said, I thought you said the Blessing of Enyo will co coexist with Kira and Korvov. Yeah, and they sort of start to lower their blade, and Father Reginald sort of like, if you could see him, he squints his eyes a little bit. <sighs> Anil is forgiving. Let him have another try. Alright, this time I, I make a show of going... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> And then I dunk my head. Alright, uh, roll Arcana at advantage yet again. Whee! Alright, uh, you feel, for the first time, Anil's influence reach into you. And, uh, you sort of see, like, a picture of the seventh sort of standing there, and the picture doesn't move or anything, it's just like a image itself and slowly a little bit by a little bit it gets washed away by the light of a neo I'll have to have a, can i can i think at a neo and see if i get a response yeah what do you think i say i just say are you there <laughs> oh that's right he's in pieces <laughs> 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 right I basically just take a moment to be like, can you offer me the same protection that the Seventh did from the others of your kind? <sighs> I don't expect to actually get a verbal response, but I just put it out there. Oh, hey, you get to roll history at advantage. <laughs> Good enough. Hey, uh, you're able to, I like to hear. You're able to surmise that um, the fact that Arcturus Flick had been protected by Kira's influence, Anya could very much do the same. Particularly well, I mean, Arcturus the... was still frozen from the time stop there. Oh yeah, that's true. He just won't die through it. <laughs> but uh, you also piece yeah. together that Anya is very much the warmongering one, whilst Kira is just quote-unquote peaceful. Right. I just want a powerful blessing is all at least equal to the last one I had. <laughs> but, alright. So, now, as the whole world sort of slows down into decision-making time for Thorin, you get to pick. Have the Seventh be washed away, or embrace the Seventh's uh, influence. Yeah, I'd... As much as I don't like, uh, or like any, or as much as I feel weird about that, I very much dislike the Seventh. And the only reason I was sticking by him was because he would protect me against the other gods. But if I'm going to get backed by Kira 
and Ennio and potentially uh, Korvoth's essence, wherever that may be, I will side with Shield War Man. <laughs> so you uh, take on the other side? Uh huh. Alrighty. Everybody gets a whopping 500 XP for that decision alone. Hey! Is that, does that mean that's the right decision? <laughs> that's just how that works. Oh. Uh, a harder decision, I think. Uh, if, you, if you went through the whole uh, Abominations realm thing, you might rethink that. <laughs> you didn't get to play that part. Uh, but yes, uh, Thorin, eventually you raise your head above the water and Reginald sort of squints his eyes for a split second, then... I want to stay down, though. <laughs> <laughs> he just drowns. <laughs> no, I, I stay down, and I wait like a good minute, and I give everybody a thumbs up. <laughs> and then I pop my head up, and I just give him, like, the most, like, you overreacting piece of shit look. <laughs> As you're sort of, like, still in the water, he sort of, like, looks over you a few times with a worried expression before you finally... Get out of the water, and then he. And I don't even look out of breath either. <laughs> he immediately just, throws just look at him, his hands just like... into the air, and just oh, rejoice, Anil has and as he does another. That, just because this is the kind of person Thorin is, he holds out a finger and goes up, up, up. I think I actually am. I feel like I'm owed an apology after the way you guys all overreacted at that. And um, I look around very expectantly, like genuinely expectantly, at the soldiers. <laughs> much, to, and I could feel it! I can feel Tobias's eyes drilling into the back of my skull. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Staring at you in disbelief. Uh, you get healed for that amount that goes into your temporary hit points, and as you cool. look at all the knights, they clang, put their swords back in their sheaths, and then they all do a very deep bow, and they say, accept our humblest apologies, brother. A mere precaution. You think it at least, like, make sure it wasn't a false positive or <laughs> and then Thorin just like keeps talking like an idiot until he eventually <laughs> no fear <laughs> the glare and stops talking and the main priest sort of just looks at you ah may a new shield protect you forever and always I kind of just narrow my eyes and I point at him one last time and I say false positives and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the knights sort of like gestures towards the uh, doors that you came from. And as you, as each of you pass him, he does a knowing nod to each of you and just mutters under his breath. May Neil be with you, brothers. And you, my brother. <laughs> May he show you the way. No! I fucking <laughs> come the fucking. All right. Uh, Arcturus, you immediately lose inspiration if you had any, and <laughs> sort of looks at everyone who comes out of the door. And he smiles at you very brightly. Good. I take it all has gone well. I uh, I, t I take a moment as I come back into Benjamin's sideline. I do like like a like a Pantene hair flick. <laughs> as uh, little droplets of holy water splatter around the room he closes his eyes and raises his head a little bit to let the droplets land on his face he goes oh. <laughs> the presence is with you I feel it it's like it's like weird safe for work bukake or something I <laughs> very, very weird exactly about what I just did <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I've been on way too much internet in my life <laughs> and Thorin, being the dickhead that he is, looks genuinely concerned. He'll be like, did you see what happened back there? I just forgot to breathe in because I didn't expect them to hold my head down for that long and they almost stabbed me! Tobias, like, turns and looks Thorin in the eye <laughs> and just mouths, stop. Uh, Thorin, now seeing this properly for the first time instead of just feeling it, immediately like shrinks back. <laughs> Which probably looks funny, little Tobias telling big Thorin to shut up and Thorin just gets like the sheepish look and like <laughs> his neck disappears and his head sinks into his shoulders a little bit and just goes, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, just to be clear for an out of character explanation of all the things that just went on. Uh, Tobias, you 
I guess for flavor, you're able to control your magic a lot more, so you won't get blasted by this wild magic source all the damn time. So you are able to control the tap much better. Cool. As for Thorin, uh, the influence of the seventh has completely washed away from you, and you feel his like image start to fade away as a bright yellowish tint of light sort of in well not really invades but like takes place in your mind's eye and you feel much more at peace i'm down with this and as for i'm, I'm assuming i'd lose my fucking demonic resurrection ability mm -hmm. okay Correct. and uh instead of the reddish glow that your symbol had it now glows a very light yellow very light you can barely see it and as for Kalios. Yes. Uh, you're still a pitiful tiefling. Farron's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be saying that all the time now. Just like whenever Kalius like stubs his toe or fails to convince something, someone or something, you're just gonna be like, pity, pity. <laughs> uh, but uh, your like uber dagger still remains in its uber form. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, if you're protected by the seventh influence, it's it's uh, now gone. What do you mean protected? Again? Wait, does that mean that people can, out of character? Does that mean no one can talk about the seventh? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okie doke. Uh, as for Tobias, I believe I also gave you a gift. It was for like persuasions, not net wanting. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you lose that too. Okay, so. Do I still have the connection with the seven? And is it just weakened? Or oh yeah, it, it, it's severely weakened. It's as if something deep within you, on a spiritual level, is fighting for the spot. Huh. Okie dokie. Does am I able to roll Arcana or Religion to see if that I detect this change within Tobias? Uh, Tobias, do you show him your armpits and inner thighs? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't no. think we're at that level in our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> then no. Okay. Come, let us make for Vestigard, as Brother Benjamin starts walking with a slight skip on his step. Uh, I never no. understood these religious people. <laughs> this is in character, by the way. He says to no one as we leave him. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, where is everyone? <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys think we forgot something? No, it oh. couldn't be anything important else we'd remember. <laughs> like, in the yeah. cart. I keep getting this weird feeling that we've forgotten something important. You uh, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it couldn't yeah, be that important if we forgot. As everyone sort of like straddles back onto the carriage, uh, you're removed back onto the main map. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, as you sort of leave the main um, actual church itself, uh, Brother Benjamin sort of like drives the caravan to a nearby, um, sort of like a warehouse looking place. But you can see most of the wood has been painted somewhat white and you know, embroidered with gold and whatnot. And uh, he explains to you that for it's sort of like a shelter, if you will, for everyone who is from the Holy See, because uh, the best guys don't have proper quarters for people of his kind, quote unquote kind. And he sort of parks the cart out the front of it, and he just says, "I suppose we should take a rest here before we carry on to the Trident." Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Sounds good. Food and bedding will be provided to you. Um, sorry to be that person, but I've got an early start tomorrow. Yeah, Are we well, okay to sort of leave it there for yeah. the moment? Because it's kind of a, a natural stopping point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hence That's the resting place. warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys want. All right, all good. But uh, it was actually a really good session. I think the earlier start made it good because we got a little bit yeah, more done. A super solid session. Mm. We went for how long? Like eight hours? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Because we started yeah. right on three o'clock, didn't we? 
Does anybody feel like we went for too long? No. I'm happy we don't have to go to 3 a.m. and be half dead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for playing. Have a good night. And no thank worries. you. Thanks for DMing. Yeah, all good. Cheers, guys. Take care. See ya. Bye. Bye.